Simulator 99 just released update number eight and everyone hated it. Whether that's a deserved statement or not is something that we will find out by the end of this video because it's been three days since the updates come out and I'm just now setting foot in this update for the very first time. Just like last update, uh, I was away when the update came out. Hate that. I even said it the last update. When I came back, the main game on my channel had also updated, so I had to catch up on it. Basically, when Roblox is dry, just tell me to go on vacation and then everything will update. And guess what? It happened again. I went on vacation and a stupid update came out. Before anybody's just like, yo, Night Fox, you just gotta stop going on vacation, bro. This is young you. I couldn't because this vacation was planned 15 years ago when I married my wife. Yeah, that's right. I had my wedding anniversary. I'm a gamer with a wife. That's how cool I am. Anyway, because this update is late, I now can do something that none of my other fellow pet simulator YouTubers have done. I can look at the community feedback and see if uh, the reason everybody's hating this update is justified or if they're just being a bunch of whiny babies. And it's real simple because all we got to do is refer to this post by big games over on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, saying thoughts on the new update. And if you know the pet sim community, you better believe there were thoughts. Over 1.4 thousand of them to be exact. And the very first one is from Brit saying, I've had a lot of people say they are really upset about the hype eggs. You never said anything about having to join the game within 10 minutes of the update coming out, be able to get them. So many people got their ranks up to get more eggs and then weren't able to. TB verse said the exact same thing. Hype eggs, no clarification on how we get them until after the update. And not gonna lie, that is pretty frustrating. Especially since before the update, we all saw it in the back advertising the hype egg coming and for you to be able to get your ranks up so that you could get more. But when I look in the blog post, it actually says right here, the free hype eggs that give you a chance at a Titanic party cat or a huge party dragon, you have to log in after the update within 10 minutes. So yeah, like they did tell you, it just wasn't in a really conventional way. The question is though, when did the blog post come out? I pulled the source code from the internet and the answer is somewhere in here about what time it updated, but like, bro, I don't have time to read all this. <laughs> so we're gonna reference another pet simulator YouTuber who was live streaming the day of the update. We got Phase Smash here. As you can see, 13 minutes into the countdown, right here it says play update for the eggs. Meaning that you had to like play the update to get the eggs. With 13 minutes left, you can see that lo and behold, the update has not been out yet. There's the update vlog. And when he scrolls down, you see login after the update within 10 minutes, the game updates. And when he logs back in, you can see that it's been crossed off the list. So, uh, I mean, it looks like they did tell you. <laughs> so I'll chalk up the first two. Just being like, uh, it's on Roblox and you kind of limit it on what you can tell people things because it's Roblox and it's heavily moderated. But I don't know, man. It looked to me like it was pretty self-explanatory. There is one thing though about the hype eggs that I will agree with. While they did tell everybody it was 10 minutes after the update, the one thing the devs did forget about is the fact that some people in the world, the game updates at like 3 a.m. for them. DV said it best. Hype eggs being only for the first 10 minutes of the update, it should have been the first 12 hours. Keep the time zones in mind. And yeah, I, I totally agree, man. Now, obviously, I didn't get the eggs. And the only way to get the eggs is now I gotta go to the trading plaza. Because let's face it, getting the eggs was only part one of the problem. Part two of the problem is hatching the new Titanic that came with it. And uh, only three have actually been hatched since the update. <laughs> How much of the dragon, bro? 730. Okay, that's a little better. If I go look for the hype egg, let's see if I can find some and hatch some. Okay, 16 for 1.7 million. I will buy all 16 of them for 27 million. Million. Oh my God. I'm a level 22. So I feel like I have to get 22 to really test this out how I need to test it out. I'm sorry, is that 262? Bro wants 4.49 million for him. That is so much a bad deal, it's not even worth it. He's trying to take advantage of the fact that he has so many of them, which I'll admit is pretty smart because mainly I only get some with like the smaller amounts. However, this one's also pretty big and it's not the best deal, but like I'll take it.
And did I say 22? I mean, I got 40. Let's just all pretend I'm a rank 40 right now. Thanks. I got all my huge potions and lucky potions activated. Let's see if I can get anything from this. Pipe, 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 pipe. Not, uh, 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 not very hype. Not, not very, not very hype. Let's just open the rest of them. And... Surprise, surprise, we didn't get it. But this guy did and is apparently hoarding all of them. This one is 145. Something tells me that I could probably get it a lot cheaper. Oh, he literally is hoarding all of them. Oh, I refuse to cater to the bad deal people. We'll just have to get that one a little bit later. Speaking of bad deals and all things bad, let's see what else people have to say of why this is a bad update. Team Verse says combining all the keys are gone and the nerfed mini games and too many bugs and boost tax needs to go too much more wrong to list and he's right you can't actually combine all but i don't think that was something the devs did on purpose just to make the game more difficult i think it was to actually help with uh cutting down on the cheaters that's right the reason we all lose the fun nice things is because the bots and the cheaters and the exploiters have to ruin it for us all you remember when all the bots went through and busted all the balloons and got all the gems and what did they do those bots then turned around and mailed all the diamonds that they got back to the original owner of the bots, which explains now why there is an increased tax on the mail. Every time you send something, it gets more and more expensive. And yeah, it gets crazy pretty fast. But as you can see, it resets in a day. So like a lot of people aren't going to be sending more than one mail things a day. And if they were before, they can easily adjust. The surge of diamonds in the trading plaza is what is causing inflation. How do you decrease inflation? Well, you got to decrease the amount of gems that are in the trading plaza. There's only one way to do that. Taxes. And what's happened since they implemented the taxes? This huge pet value bot that measures the economy Economy was updated just an hour ago and as you can see everything is starting to deflate they put taxes on the booths to fix what the bots messed up so to all those people who say that the booths were ruined that the mailboxes were ruined you can point your fingers at the exploiters of this game who i have said many times is the reason this game is going downhill to the next point of saying the new huge is extremely common is a reason that it sucks the new huge being the huge electric cat that you get in the treasure hideout, which just in the past few days has already garnered 13,000 regular and 2,000 golden and even 732 rainbow. People are mad that others are getting huge pets easily, which honestly is a bit of an L take if you ask me. But let's do some testing ourselves. Let's see if we can go find it. Gotta buy this area and I got a rebirth. I think we'll wait. <laughs> I think we'll wait. We're gonna keep going. By this area, by this area. Wait, can I just, they no longer take all your coins. You can just buy it. Oh, okay. Well, it actually didn't go up that much. Let me just unlock all these areas real quick. Montage, baby. Okay, this got really hard really fast. I just need to grab something really quick. The new biggest pet in the game, which is the Dominus Alienus. Let's make it rainbow. Let's make it shiny. Hey, it's actually a decent deal. There it is. Much better. You guys get back to work. I don't pay you to sit there and do nothing. I don't pay them at all. And just like that, uh, I'm done. I saw that the treasure hideout was at 159, but bro, we were cooking, but we got it. We did it. Back to the original task at hand, trying to get our own easy huge. You need a treasure hideout key to unlock this mini game. Where do I get that? Well, I know one place to get them and I'll get three of them. Also, apparently, I can just buy the huge electric cat here. 65.8 is a good deal. This one's 66. Why not? All right, I got the key. Let's see what this is all about. Attack! Again, this is going to take a minute. Have you liked the video yet? Have you hit that subscribe button? Now's your time. Also, why don't you tell me what you like most about this update? And just like that, 30 minutes in, and you get kicked out, and you have a six-hour cooldown. That part kind of sucks. Did I get the electric cat? The nope. answer is no. <laughs> of course 
it's not. While it is easier to get, there is still some grinding involved. So yeah, I, I'm gonna say like people getting mad that it's really easy to get. Like, bro, do you know how many people have no huge pet whatsoever? Let these kids have their easy huge. Heck, let them have their easy Titanic. It's not the end of the world. I mean, look how happy this kid is. He says it's great. A little bit of bugs at the beginning of the update, but all is over in a great update because of this. I rest my case. Lulu Gaming says that the update is great, but can you please fix the one relic that is unable to be clicked? Here it is in area 172 and... Uh... Yeah, it's still not clickable. Oh, oh, wait, it moved. Okay, yeah, that part still needs to be fixed as well. Not Landon here said that the update is promising, but obtaining the treasure hideout key has proven to be exceedingly challenging. Unless you have gems. <laughs> but I agree. Miss Samantha said that she streamed for six hours to only get the bottom half. Yeah, bro, I'm glad I bought mine then. And speaking of uh, trading plaza, it seems the diamond cap was uh, increased to 25 billion. And the moment that happened, all these people who had their titanic set at the old max diamonds of two billion all of a sudden had theirs bought so they all lost it most titanics are around the six to eight billion mark man that kind of sucks i i feel bad alien here is upset about the diamond spinning wheel going from 30k a spin to a hundred k a spin if i were to spin this for a hundred k and end up getting a smelly old boot yeah I'd be, I'd be pretty mad too i've seen a couple of people talk about how they didn't remove the last chance enchants, which are these right here that were basically here the last update, where it also said it was the last chance. So they're just trying to squeeze a little bit more money out of you. And I'll agree, it's a little bit shady, but it's not unheard of. And it's a marketing strategy that has been used for hundreds of years. Take this guy, PT Barnum. Bro made his circus and then would say that his circus was going to be leaving town. And then the circus would literally be there like another month. So yeah, so far we've talked about a lot of bad, but there actually was a lot of good this update too. Referring back to the update blog, we got a rebirth six. I, I, I do actually hate that as well. I'm so tired of these freaking rebirths, but I am thankful that it only brings you back here and you don't have to go do world one again. So that's a plus. But you get charged eggs, you get golden eggs, which uh, hatches only golden pets for 50 times the egg cost. Not gonna lie. Some people were mad about that, especially the ones who bought this game pass here, which gives you a bonus chance of hatching golden golden and rainbow pets because they were basically thinking that oh if i can just hatch golden pets why why do i have to buy that game pass because you've been able to use it for months also you can still try to do it and save a whole bunch of coins because uh 50 times an egg times 96 hey siri what's 50 times 96 that would be 4,800. that's a lot of cheddar another good thing about this update that's always good with almost every update because the builder jamie it is just like a it's him bro. He's him. The build quality in this thing is outstanding. He found a way to work in fan art. Everything still kind of matches the whole tech world vibe with the exception of this area. <laughs> There's a lot of attention to detail and they're just like very much so aesthetically pleasing to look at. Except for all these freaking wires. So shiny relic. I think my favorite area in this update though is probably the whole steampunk area. These three sections are such a cool vibe, especially seeing like the cogs and stuff move. One problem most people never have is how visually stunning this whole game looks. Of course, with all the new areas, it's all the new pets. Not gonna lie. These are the full team of Huges and Titanics I have. The only one I care about is this one. I also appreciate that they have a lot more huge pets coming every single update. The more huge pets, the more chances to get them, and the more uh, ways that the game can tell you you're very unlucky. <laughs> but they look cool. And so far, I've gotten one of these. Of course, the new highest ranks are up to 26, which means now we can unlock 99 pets if you bought the game pass. Free rewards are always good. New tier potions are always good. There's a global event which can give you a free Lunar Moth for just, bro, I don't know, existing in the game. And they've also fixed it to where now if you're in a top five 
500 clan in the clan battle, you have a chance at a huge tech samurai cat. Before, only the top 50 clans got rewards. Oh yeah, okay. By the way, I, I misinterpreted the global events. You do have to do stuff besides exist. Break five randomly spawned pinatas. Is it random if I do it? One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, that because they were randomly spawned, I didn't get them. Okay, never mind. I hate this. They gave us a new ultimate. I don't even have a regular ultimate equip, bro. We got the new forge machine, which uh, gives us a charm stone, TNT crate, or a large gift bag. I gotta admit, I don't really need any of those. But I guess I could get rid of my 189 agility charms. Not what we always wanted. And having TNT crates instead of 7,000 rare TNT isn't bad either, which basically just makes the forge machine a glorified enchant upgrade machine. Did I see that right? I only got 35 for 7,000? Bro, what's in that TNT crate? Jeez. I feel like 7,000 small TNT would have done way more damage than 35. Did I just get ripped off? What about for the charm stones? How many will 189? One! Okay, this is a rip off. And now we come to the XP potions, which is another one of those things that everybody hates this update. Everybody thought it was going to be great, and then everybody found out real quickly, like the forge machine, and it sucks. Mainly because when you go to it, it costs a lot to do. Like, I need nine more XP charms and a bucket of magic. Here's the bucket of magic. And I got my XP charm. I can create two... I, I did the wrong one. I wasn't really paying attention. But I got a huge shiny rainbow cat. It's only a level 86. And I got two huge XP potions. There we go. There's one. And after two huge potions, it is now a, a level 86. It only went up 10k each one. This one also sucks. But the biggest issue that most people had this update was the clan wars. Mainly because we are again doing quests. And people are not happy about it because it's the same old thing over and over again. Clan battles have always been broken. And now that the top clans are all using super macros to do all these clan quests, it's basically made it impossible. I made my own clan to try and upstage those super macro users. And currently we are. Yeah, bro, we're second place. It's not bad. Group clan, dude, they're just insane. They've had months to get all the big grinders. It's going to be a huge uphill climb. I don't know if we're ever going to get there. But yeah, everybody hates that it's the clan quest. The other biggest thing that people complained about is this thing right here. The new exclusive egg. The new exclusive egg gives you some really cool looking pets. Not going to lie. I like the vibe. There's apparently a way to get one of these eggs that spawns in the map. that You can get your very own Titanic for free if you can find the egg. But I did see a lot of people online actually get one. But people are complaining that they haven't been able to find this egg in the game to get one for themselves. To that, I'll say, bro, it's it's not going to be easy. Getting a free Titanic is insane. Do I need to remind you of this? But on top of that, with all the bots and the exploiters in the world, if one does drop, you better believe probably one of them are going to find it. There is a rumor going around that this free exclusive egg that has a giant exclusive egg spawned in an area, getting it to breaking it has a ton of health. Watch out for these. They appear randomly throughout the day, people went through the API and actually saw that the giant exclusive egg has a playtime requirement of five and then a chance of zero percent. And Preston basically responded, uh, not representative of games codes. A variable was left there but doesn't actually do anything. He also said it's definitely real. Why would we devote resources to build a feature and then set the spawn chance to zero? And bro, you can't argue. Like, nobody's gonna do work for no reason. <laughs> I am inclined to believe that there's definitely some spawning somewhere in the world. And in fact, here is proof of somebody circling their pets around one currently trying to break it. Oh, also on the egg, people are mad that the partners ended up getting like two to 500 for themselves. I was going to give some away, but it looks like these are actually untradeable. I was going to buy like 100,000 Robux worth of eggs anyway, so maybe I'll give those away instead. I'll do my best to share the wealth. I think I just got to open these eggs and then I can trade it. If I open one... 
Okay, I got a sketch corgi. Can I trade it? Yes, I can. There we go. Anyway, that's pretty much the update. Let me know if you thought this update was an L or a W. If you'll excuse me, I have got a lot of grinding to catch up on in my clan battle, but I want to leave you off with something a little different. You see, Preston actually posted saying that he's been seeing a lot of negativity lately about Pet Simulator 99 on X, Twitter, etc. Us supposedly doing things, random balancing, nerfing game passes, silent changes. These are not true. We love the game and always do our best to make it happy. Remember, these people are not us. Unless we say it, take it with a big grain of salt. Especially the Preston did X because he just wants to make money comments. Yeah, I run a business, but I'm not plotting ways to screw people over. 99 was designed to be fun for everybody. I actively play on a free to play account. And yeah, I will say this game is much more geared towards free to play than any of the other pet simulators before it. The devs are definitely listening to the community more and bots and exploiters are trying to be handled. But I will say Preston, if you really want to get back in the good graces of the community, there is one thing that you can do. I actually have some heartbreaking news to share. Lulu posted on Twitter earlier tonight, one of the prominent members of the pet simulator community, Easy Now, ended up passing away after being sick in the hospital for a few weeks. He was a friend to a lot of people and he helped countless fall in love with the game, grind to get pets to share with others. He even helped me from time to time in the pet simulator X days. He was a good soul and a beloved friend and he would be greatly missed in the pet simulator community. And a suggestion I am putting forth, I suggest a huge easy now pet to help honor our fallen friend so that he and his memory can live on in the game that he loved forever. Thanks for watching gamers. Join me next time as I open up 500 eggs. And let's just say I have an OP strategy to help me make sure I get a Titanic out of it. Maybe even two, maybe even three. I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, click this video for me. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy that one too.